Running is an activity fundamentally based on breath. You run as far as your lungs will take you. If running long distance, you drink in an ocean of air, trying to extract enough oxygen every second to keep going. For some people, however, just getting enough oxygen in their daily lives can be a real problem. Cystic fibrosis is a multi-organ genetic condition that affects over 10,000 people in the UK. People think of it usually as a lung condition, but it also affects um, pretty much um, everything in the body, in particular the digestive system. So it's caused by an error in a gene, and I forget which one, which impacts the ability of the body to, to control the salt transfer through cell walls. and. This means that there is, if in the lungs for example, this means that the um, mucus within the lungs kind of dries out and becomes much thicker and much stickier. And the body's normal use for mucus is obviously to capture um, any kind of bacteria or particulates if they get that low and naturally expel them. Um, because of how the mucus is, that doesn't happen and you end up with a buildup of uh, infections essentially, which over time cause lung damage and scarring. Members of my Discord community or viewers of my Twitch channel will recognize Dan Hanvey, also known as Danvey. For the best part of a decade now, he's been a very close friend of mine and a key supporter of my work online. He was there cheering me on from the very beginning. Why do you support my work so much? Is, is CF like COVID is a symptom that you, you lose your sense of taste? <laughs> At this point, you know, a sense of compulsion that I can't get rid of. Uh, <laughs> you got Stockholm Syndrome into supporting yeah. me. <laughs> Come with me on my run this evening. This is my first time vlogging a run in a very long time. Yep, still just a self-conscious. Also, Pixel Go is with me. Yay! <laughs> when were you diagnosed with CF? I was diagnosed shortly after I was born, which is when, when the a large majority of CF patients are diagnosed. Um, I think it was only a, a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. Um, essentially, I was born and I instantly started to lose weight, uh, which obviously is not ideal for a newborn baby. So there were various sort of tests run. Uh, the big one is a sweat test. Um, because of the um, salt channel kind of uh, cause of CF, um, you have a lot more salt in your sweat. Um, and so they can actually use that as a pretty good baseline of whether someone has cystic fibrosis or not. We're very lucky to live where we are <laughs> and to have views like this to run long. <laughs> also, today was like the hottest day of the year so far. And uh, yeah, we had to wait for a while for the temperature to cool down. It's like 10 o'clock right now. <laughs> it's like nine. It's basically 10. Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, he goes! Hi. Oh wow, look at this! Whoa! <laughs> Wait, you're not running this way! <laughs> oh my gosh, for the vlog though. <sighs> any on, any words? We've got to keep moving or our muscles will get sore. Oh. We've got another 10k to go. <laughs> but it's not really. Come on, come on. Okay, this is my medication shelf. Um, so this one is a, uh, a powder that I inhale morning and evening. Um, it's a, called a mucolytic, it just helps thin up the mucus. The blue box is an antibiotic to suppress uh, any infections that are currently sort of down there in my lungs. I've got pancreatic enzymes. I've got some vitamins um, because your body can't absorb them as effectively. Um, so you've got to take supplements. Holidays are great because you have to like fly with a letter explaining why your suitcase is full of pills. <laughs> <laughs> How many times would you say you've been hospitalized with CF? God, I, I, I did count at one point. Um, up until about last year, uh, it was at least two times a year since the age of about uh, 11. 10 maybe. Usually it's some kind of lung infection um, that has um, got too much to kind of handle with other treatments and you have to go in for intravenous therapy which is a lot more intense, a lot more sort of actively managed. Now GoPros don't do very well in the dark. This is like a very well-known phenomenon. But we're about to go into what makes this run special. Oh look at the mist! Hang on, Simon, turn on tunnel vision. Now. It sounds a terribly <laughs> direct way to phrase it, but how, how long does a person with cystic fibrosis normally live? 
So the best way, because obviously, as I said, it's a spectrum. The best way is looking at average life expectancy kind of through the years. So I was actually looking at this the other day. Back in 1950, um, I think the average life expectancy for a child with CF was about five. And that's just sheerly, you know, because the treatments just weren't available. As more things sort of came on and we understood the disease better and it, how it affected the body, um, that increased. So back in 1990, I think, uh, the average life expectancy was in the 20s. Um, as of this year, I believe we are currently somewhere in the high 40s. Um, but I, I'm not sure. And that will obviously vary on a huge range of factors. Um, but what's important is that, uh, yeah, it is it is a it is a life limiting condition. Like ultimately, unless, uh, you know, I have some horrible accident, it will probably be cystic fibrosis that kills me. I wanted to pay back some of the love and support Danby has shown me over the years. So this year I'm fundraising for the CF Trust. The fact the CF Trust exists means that there is a, a group of uh, sort of charities and organisations globally who can who can and do come together to share research, to share knowledge, to work on uh, global projects to look at improving the life well-being and, and, and life expectancy of people with CF. Like in previous years when I fundraised for a local cancer hospice and for conservation charity Durrell, I'm going to do this via running a half marathon. I'm not a natural runner, having the athletic ability and proportions of a bowling pin, so this will be a very tough 13.1 miles to run. In the past couple of weeks, Pixel Girl and I actually moved to my favourite city in the world. Bath, or as she calls it, Bath, and I'm going to be running the Two Tunnels Half Marathon, which is kind of unique. It's the half marathon with the most distance covered underground in the UK. You literally run through one of the big hills surrounding Bath. If I'm able to see through the sweat, it should be a really gorgeous route, but hopefully you'll appreciate it in the vlog that I'll film of the race. The money raised by the CF Trust goes to a few different things that they do, a few different causes. Uh, one thing is um, sort of grants and financial aid for the families of those um, who have cystic fibrosis because um, it does have a financial impact um, on your lives as any kind of you know long-term disability does. The big one of course is is research and that can be as we've mentioned kind of research into new drugs and new therapies but it can also be research into kind of the associated things like um, mental health impacts on people with CF and new forms of uh, or effects of different kinds of physiotherapy. And third, I guess, um, the funding goes to things like campaigns. So either raising awareness or, you know, campaigning to, to the government, to the NHS, um, to, to bodies uh, which can help. Yeah, it's, it's a varied uh, pot and there is so much work they do and there's so much work that they want to do that, yeah, they, they know what they're doing, <laughs> essentially. This one is personal to me. I wouldn't be where I am today, and the amazing community around my videos and my streams wouldn't be what it is today without Dan. And that means I owe a profound debt of gratitude to the CF Trust. If you'd like to help their life-saving work and help people like Dan live their lives to the fullest, or just donate in advance of what's hopefully going to be an interesting vlog, please go to justgiving.com forward slash Simon Clark CF, linked in the description. I've been training for a couple of weeks now, and at the time of recording, the half marathon is about a month away, and uh, I'm not feeling terribly confident about this. This is, this is going to be hard. <laughs> as well as donating. If you could please oh. pray for my legs. This is gonna hurt. Please donate.